Warning, the following video will contain content that is not appropriate for children. Your discretion is advised. Well, what's up everyone? Welcome back for another one of my Pokemon Battle Revolution rant battles. Fuck yeah. And let's just ignore how horribly I pronounced children right there, because I'm pretty sure I didn't even pronounce that correctly during that intro. Anyway, um, enough about me being stupid for two seconds, even though, actually, to be honest, the entire point of this video is basically about me being stupid. As are most of my videos. Isn't it great? Alright, anyway. <laughs> Today I'm here to talk about some stuff. So... Just something I've noticed. As far as me personally, I always seem to do the best at something when my back is against the wall. What I mean is that when circumstances really suck for me, that's when I tend to do my best. Like at work, for example, when we're super busy... That's when I tend to be at my best. I'm moving faster. I'm thinking smarter. I'm thinking faster. And I'm able to get a lot of shit done. So I feel like when you're pushed to those extremes, that is when you're at your best as a human. And that's just something I've noticed. Notice that I shine brightest at the darkest of times. And trust me, that's not an over-exaggeration, because at work there are some pretty dark times. <laughs> because holy shit, there are some dumb fucking customers. There are some really dumb customers. Like, at the time that I'm recording this, the uh, football season just started up for the local high school kids and all that shit. And, uh, my god. They come in there so late at night. You know, so they have to keep all the staff on really late at night. Everyone's all tired and shit. And then we get swamped with a bunch of stupid-ass high school kids being stupid. And they just walk into the restaurant and grab whatever tables they want. You know, even though there's literally a host stand. You know, you would think that, you know, at a restaurant, you know, you'd wait to be seated unless someone told you otherwise. You know, that's kind of a common courtesy thing. You know, just saying. Especially if you go to a restaurant and see literally a host stand right at the front, you would think... Oh, maybe there's a reason why there's a host stand there. Because at most restaurants that have host stands, you have to wait to be seated. You fucking morons. But they don't think. They just, they don't think, you know? They, they don't fucking think. Why would they? You know, why would, why would they actually use their brains, right? You know? Fucking pathetic. But I'm able to find that in those kinds of situations, I'm able to move a lot faster, do a lot more, and just, you know, be on my toes and think a lot faster as well. Just a little observation I've made. Anyway, that's really all I have to say. Anyone who has a problem with that can suck my big, fat, fucking hairy cock. All right, took out Blaziken. That's that's good. Oh, great! Now we got Arceus. That's good. Um, shit. Not sure what to do here. Kind of at a loss here. Either way, I, 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 I'm done. So, um, yeah, fuck it at this point. Oh, that's great. Well, just wasted that attack. At least I can take out cast form. So that's something, at least. Damn, I wish I would have used Bounce there. That would have been perfect. Hmm. Now what? I guess Giga Drain against Gardevoir if by some miracle Leafeon survives. And then... 
Yeah, I gotta do some damage to Arceus if I can. Oh, really? He wasn't going after Leafy on there. That's surprising. I mean, I'll take it. Gives Leafy on a chance to do a little, well, very little bit of damage to Gardevoir there. That was a little disappointing. But, I mean, he did heal a little bit. Even though he's probably going to die right here. Yep. Great. That went well. Okay. So we're hydro pumping that fuck face. And it didn't do that much, which is honestly kind of what I was expecting. Hopefully Infernape can just destroy the fucking shit out of Arceus, which I highly doubt is going to happen, but we'll see. I bet he's going to use Fly again, isn't he? No, he did not. Let's see who this kills. It's going to kill Mantine. Yeah, there we go. Well, hopefully this will do at least something. A little disappointing, but not too bad, I guess. If I can get one more of those off against Arceus, I may be in okay shape. Although that future site's probably going to obliterate my ass in a couple of turns. So that's good. So Kyogre making it rain. Gotta get one more hit off on Arceus. And if I can, I've got to destroy Arceus once and for all. Hopefully this will be enough. Oh wow, shit, it actually was. Now I kind of feel stupid using close combat against a fucking Gardevoir. Kind of stupid, but okay. We'll see how it goes. It actually did a fair amount. It wasn't a complete waste. Of course, now Infernape's going to have such low defense, he's going to get killed by anything that hits him. I mean, Infernape's pretty much useless at this point, anyway. Mmm, boy. Would love to close combat that fucking Lucario. Ah, oh, shit. Gardevoir's gonna probably recover a lot of HP with Dream Eater here. That would be the smart thing to do, so I'm gonna go after Lucario. Who went after Infernape? I was not expecting that. Wow. That was definitely unexpected. I was expecting Lucario to go after Kyogre. Interesting. Alright, one hit. Again, this rain is really helping me out, powering up my attacks. And then, of course, Gardevoir left with nothing there. That was, that was good. Very good. Oh, boy, I need to get rid of that as soon as humanly possible. I really want to avoid a one-hit kill this time. Of course, again, a fucking crit hit, super effective. Man, and I was just on the verge of mounting a fucking amazing comeback. Fucking damn it. Almost had it that time. Oh well. Anyway, that'll do it for that one, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.